guess what? The ships just keep on coming. So there's a maritime ship or company that I've been talking about over and over on this channel. Guess what? They just bought another ship. But is that good or bad? How about, are there any other companies in the space that you could take a look at? Well, if this is interesting to you, you sit right there. Hey everybody, Glenn Tompkins, Senior Instructor here at VectorVest. Man, am I excited about this story. We're gonna get popping real quick. Before we get started, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe to the channel. If you've already been to the channel, don't forget to comment. Let me know what you think about these stories. Hit the like button and also make sure you hit the bell icon to be updated to all of these updated stories that I do on a company. All right, today we're getting into Castor Maritime again. Ticker symbol CTRM. And guess what? They bought another ship. Now, the last story we did on it, they had done some dilation, or dilution, sorry, dilution on the stock by putting out a whole lot of other shares to raise capital. As soon as they did that, they bought a ship. And recently, they just bought another ship. So are they growing the company or are they just piddle paddling around and hoping that something hits? I've got a lot to cover for you here today. So let's get into the story. The story is Castor Maritime Inc. announces vessel acquisition. So a diversified global shipping company announces that it entered through a separate wholly owned subsidiary into agreement to acquire a 2011 Chinese built Panamex dry bulk carrier from an unaffiliated third party for a purchase of 14.5 million. This is two ships that they've bought since they offered up uh, to a conglomerate a whole bunch of shares, all right, to be exercised at the price, I believe, of 65 cents. All right, this is a low dollar stock, all right, don't get me wrong. All right, this acquisition is expected to be consummated by taking delivery of the vessel during May of this year and is subject to the satisfaction of certain customary closing conditions, blah, 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 blah. So this comes from the chief office, the, the chief uh, CEO. We are pleased to announce the acquisition of one more Panamax dry bulk vessel in 2021, increasing Castor's dry bulk uh, fleet to 15 vessels. Watch this. Upon completion of, of all of our recently announced acquisition, our fleet will consist of 18 vessels tripling in size since the start of this year. That's huge for a low dollar stock. Now, for transparency, I do own this stock. Am I pumping it? No, I am giving you the information that you need to make your own decisions. Now, if this low dollar space is not for you, then you don't play in this space. But this company is doing all of the right things in my estimation to grow. And in growing, they're preparing for this industry to move. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the dry bulking industry as well, because this is all hinged on that market. If it doesn't grow, this company can go belly up like that. But if they are preparing for an industry that's ready to move, they are setting themselves up for success. So I wanted to see about that business, the dry bulking business. So I did a little bit of research. I went out to investopedia.com. There's an index, the Baltic Dry Index. What is it? The Baltic Dry Index is a shipping and trade index created by the London-based Baltic Exchange. It measures changes in the cost of transporting various raw materials. All the materials that get from place to place mainly go over boat, thus the dry bulk industry. Now, key takeaways from this. It's an index of the average prices paid for transport of dry bulk materials across more than 20 routes. So if the, if the prices go up, people have to pay more money to ship their things. That's good for this industry, right? The BDI is often viewed as a leading indicator of economic activity. All right, the index can experience high levels of volatility because the supply of large carriers tends to be small with long lead times and high production costs. So I wanted to see what was going on in understanding that, uh, that index. Then, how about I got a news story that just came out, oh, the 28th, 
Baltic index rises on cap size push. The Baltic exchange's main sea freight index, which tracks the rates of ships ferrying dry bulk commodities, gained on Tuesday as um, cap size rates touched their highest level over a year. This industry is moving. So I wanted to take a view of that. The Vector S software doesn't actually track it. So I went out and looked at it. BDIY um, index, Baltic Drive Futures. Look at this. Over the last year, folks, and um, Castor Maritime has been really starting to grow since the end of last year coming into this year. Look at the index. Look at the index. It's moving up. The cost for being able to do this is moving up. That means they can charge more money over these routes to get the dry bulk stuff from place to place. So now I said, that's great. CTRM is starting to rise. This is why it's starting to rise. So let's take a deeper look. Let's go into the Vector Vest software. And today I'm giving you a bonus. You know, I've been talking a lot about CTRM, but that's a lower dollar stock and it's more aggressive on that whole range of speculative, but not nearly as much as you might think so. 52 cents. How about I found two other stocks in this industry for those of you who want maybe not to play the lower dollar stock. How about CMRE trading at $10.47 or Damios Corp, DAC, trading at $54. Now, why is that so important that I'm giving you these other two stocks? Well, I'll tell you why. Let me show you. They're all in the transportation ship um, industry. Watch this. Right click. I'm going to go down to view the industry graph. This is going to be a telling sign. Let's put this on a three-month graph. Let's see what the industry is doing, not just the companies, but the industry as a whole. Look at that. Very close to the most recent three-month high, sitting at $13.83. Love the bounce off of support on the industry, uh, bouncing off of $12.03. Uh, $12 nice open day today. Would really like to see it break through this level of the three-month high. If that happens, this industry is rocking and rolling. Oh, but wait. There is more. So that's the industry. The industry is looking good. Birds of a feather flock together. If the industry is rising, that means the stocks within the industry are rising as well. Oh, but wait, I'm going to go to our Unisearch tool, our searching tool. How about I'm looking at Delta searches, a percentage change on the industries over the last 10 days. Price Delta, look at this. Over the last 10 days, folks, the transportation shipping industry is up over seven and a half percent to show that it's the second fastest moving industry in the Vector Vest software. Not only that, we track 20, 222 industries. This industry is sitting at number 55 out of 222. If that's not enough to tell you that CTRM or stocks in that industry are ready to rise, I don't know what else can. All right, so let's go back to the stocks. So again, I wanted to do a little differently today besides just talking about CTRM. How about giving you some added fuel in this industry that's rising? Now, DAC, CTRM, CMRE, None of these stocks are in the, in the news except for CTRM, but these other two, not nearly as much. Could you be getting in early on these stocks? Well, all of these stocks, as you can see between price and value, every single one of them is undervalued. CTRM included, trading at 52 cents with a value of 72 cents. Something else that catches my attention. We have an indicator in software called relative value. The stock's ability to out pace the markets move, in this case, AAA corporate bonds. These indicators that you see here are all cast on a scale between zero and two, where above one is favorable. These stocks should outperform those AAA corporate bonds by 35%, 20%, 34% over the next one to three years. These stocks have upside. Now, you're going to give up a little bit of safety. That is an indicator of risk. You're going to be in these stocks. They will be more risky. That shows me that this is aggressive trading. All right. Not speculative, but aggressive where these stocks have good upside and they are going to incur a little bit more risk. 
All uh, two out of the three stocks are in uptrend. CTRM is the only one that's not. CTRM is the only one that's a sell recommendation. So I wanted to put this out. We keep talking about CTRM, but I wanted to give you other avenues in a rising industry and the stocks that are rising within the industry. All right, last but not least, let's graph them. Let's take a look at what they look like. Uh, put these on a three month graph. Why? Because I always want to keep earnings in the picture. All right. Right now, recently on DHC, the three and eight exponential moving average just crossed a couple of days ago. That's bullish. I'd really like to see if this stock can take out that level of resistance of 5704. What else is going on? The stock is in an uptrend because our relative timing indicator says that it is above one and nicely above one. Watch volume. When I see a stock's price going up, but I'm going to take my camera off but I see that the volume is going down. I'm always leery about that. I need conviction behind the move. So keep your eyes on that. Here's my CTRM. I've done a few videos on this. Here's my April 28th video. New boat, 18 ships. The three and the eight on uh, Castor Maritime just crossed a couple of days ago. Current level of support sitting at 42 cents. Way back when I did my video here, here was my line in the sand sitting at 76 cents. I also made mention, if you got out at that point, that's okay. All right, that was a tough run to sit through. But now the stock's got a new level of support sitting at 42 cents, bouncing off that level. 3A crossover, would really like to see RT get above one to confirm the upward move in the stock but the industry is moving higher. The last stock is CMRE. I love that the stock broke out of the channel, uh, broke above a level of resistance yesterday, followed through today, stopping right at this level of resistance at $10.48. Big up day. Look at the rising move of RT. Loving that. Watch volume as well. All right, so those are three stocks all together to keep your eyes on. Let me put my camera back on. And folks, I want to leave you with this. CTRM is a stock that I've been talking about, as you can see on several different videos. I do own it. It is a low dollar stock, but I love what they're doing. They are growing, tripling their fleet over the last year. They're getting ramped up. I showed you that BDI index showing you that the industry or the cost of shipping those goods are going up, which is going to bode well for these companies to make more money. You make your own decision. You have to. Now, if you're interested in being able to do this same analysis on these stocks, two things I want to offer to you. One, if you want a free stock analysis on your stock to see those indicators like RV and value and things of those natures uh, of that nature. Um, go to www.vectorvest.com forward slash free. Put in your email address. We will send you uh, an email analysis on any stock that you want. That's number one. Number two, if you want to do this analysis on your own using the Vectorvest system, go to www.vectorvest.com forward slash YT for YouTube. That will give you an opportunity to take a 99 cent trial for 30 days to do exactly what I just did here today. You can always see what the fastest industries are, what stocks are moving that industry like that. So with that, folks, I love putting this video out on CTRM, but giving you the added bonus of looking at other stocks to consider as well. All right, so again, if you like the commentary here, please comment down below. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Folks, share this video with people all around your social, your social media. Let them know what we're doing over here, uh, what we're doing here over, over here, here, right here at VectorVest. So this video is over. Until the next time, see ya.